Hebrews chapter 11 tonight. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11. <clears throat> I want to begin to read in verse 33. Amen. The Bible said, Who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, and stopped the mouth of lions. Amen. The mouths of lions quenched the violence of fire. Amen. Escaped the edge of the sword, and out of weakness were made strong. Amen. Waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens, and women received their dead raised to life again. Amen. And others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, uh, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Amen. I, I, now I know we pray, but I always like to pray again. Amen. I, I, Heavenly Father, most righteous God, Lord, as we come once again tonight, I, I, in the name of Jesus, that name that's above every name, Lord, I pray tonight. I, I reach down and anoint me, O oh servant, here just a few minutes. I, I, with a Holy Ghost and power. I, and Lord, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart I, I be acceptable in thy sight, O oh my Lord, my strength I, and my Redeemer. And Lord, we'll not fail to give you the praise, I, I, the honor and the glory. I, I, for it's in the name of Jesus we pray tonight. I, I, you can be seated. Hallelujah. I, I'm going to try to, amen, build, amen, on verse 35 just a little bit. I, amen. And I'm going to try to lay a foundation down, but I begin to look Look, amen, at verse 35. I, I, where he said, Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others I, I were tortured, not accepting deliverance. Amen. I want to kind of look at that one part. I, amen. And I know tonight, amen, that we're living in a time that I, our cancer is raging and many things are going on in the world. I, I, but, Brother Leon, I got down to pray the other night and I began to wonder. I, amen. You go some places and people, amen, they get in a bad circumstance circumstance, a bad situation, amen, and they just give up and they die, amen, or maybe a problem comes in their life, amen, and they just can't, you know, fight it out, it seems like, and they give up and they go back out into the world, but then on the other hand, how you go to some places, amen, and you'll find the same people that's going through the same problem, amen, but yet they've got a determination in their life, amen, that I've come too far amen to turn back now and I know that God is able I brother to keep that which I commit unto him against that day and I see a determination in them that they're not going to fall amen to the problem but that they're going to walk in victory and it seemed like the Lord began to deal with me about this verse how that so many are tortured amen they're walking around amen in agony I'm not accepting the delivering power of God. I, I, but I want you to know the same God that heals one. I, I can heal another one tonight. I, I'm telling you there is no amen. I, I difference with God. God is no respecter of person. I, I, but so many amen. I, I, they'll say I know the Bible says I, I, but amen. I, I don't know if he'll do it for me. I, I, but I come to preach to you a few minutes tonight. I, I, we need to accept the deliverance I, and the power of God, amen, that's set before us tonight. Amen. You need to hear what I'm talking about. I'm telling you the devil is raging. And we're in perilous times. And the Bible said be sober. I'll be vigilant for your adversary, the devil. I'll walk in the bodies of roaring lion. I'm seeking whom he made of how. What is it? Amen. About some people. Amen. That just want to give up. And others. Amen. Like the little woman that had the issue of blood I, I, that it's been all she had and grew worse I, I, but yet she knowed if she could just press through the crown I, amen and touch the hem of Jesus in garment I, I, she knew that she was going to be made whole I, I'm here to tell you tonight glory to God God I, is still well able to heal I, and God is still able to save I, I, God is still in the miracle working business tonight I, I, but many people don't accept I, I, the deliverance power of God. 
Amen. That's why you see him come into the house of God. Amen. All downcast. I have no joy. Amen. You know, I had a woman, and I don't say this, amen, to be mean. But amen, it was my grandmother. She called me the other day, and she was crying. And she said, why is it? Amen. That people are just not getting saved in my home church. Amen. And I said, there's no joy there. And they don't offer hope. Amen. They might as well just mark it down. Amen. I'm telling you people that get in problems and they don't offer them hope. Amen. And folks are looking for answers tonight. They're looking for hope that can only be found in one place. And that's in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We shouldn't be having a funeral. We ought to be worshiping God. Amen. But a lot of churches you go into, they don't have a bit more joy than anything. And it's more like a funeral home than it is a church. Uh, but I got news for you tonight. Uh, uh, the God that I serve is not dead. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. He's still alive. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Tonight I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, I said God's not dead. Uh, he's still alive. Hallelujah. Uh, I said, what are we trying to have a funeral service? Uh, uh, whenever God said we're supposed to be lively stones, uh, uh, we ought to have, uh, amen, have enough hope uh, uh, to hold up the hands of them that are in problems uh, and tell them you can and make it uh, uh, because the Bible says you are of God's little children uh, and have overcome them uh, uh, for greater is he uh, uh, who is within you uh, uh, than he that's in the world uh, uh, but you know I begin to think about it uh, amen why is it uh, uh, that we don't see amen people get that determination uh, uh, how well the devil has lied to many uh, uh, and said you've got to be a powerhouse uh, 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 you've got to be somebody special uh, 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 before God will do the those kinds of things for you. Uh, but I want you to know tonight, uh, hey man, I come to serve notice on the devil, I am special. Uh, uh, because the Bible said, for God so loved the world uh, uh, that he gave his only begotten son. Uh, uh, it will glory. Woo, uh, hey man, I, I'm part of that world. Uh, uh, hey man, I am special because I'm a child of the king. Uh, uh, yes, oh yes, oh yes. Uh, I'm a child of the real king. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, hey man, don't let the devil lie to you uh, and tell you that God won't do it for you uh, uh, because I said it before and I'll say it again uh, uh, God is no respecter of person tonight Oh, I, I thought back in my early ministry. I, amen. When I was first getting started out. I, amen. And I'd say, well, I, Lord, why did you call me to preach? I, I'm not Billy Graham. I, I'm not any of these great men. I don't have any great words. I, amen. I slur. I, I sometimes, and Lord, I, I, you know, I just don't think I can do it. I, I, but you know what? I, I want you to know that God can use little things. I, and the Bible said he uses the foolish things of this world how to confound the wise amen so I'm telling you deliverance is there tonight but so many people they'll say yeah I believe God can heal but they don't believe God will do it for them amen the one God that will do it for someone I'll do it for us amen tonight the same God in Africa the same God amen in Europe it's the same God we're serving here tonight and the same God amen that gives the disciples power how to heal the sick and to raise the dead is the same God that we're serving tonight amen God is not winning anywhere and God's power is still available out of them that will believe because the Bible said there's nothing you ain't hearing me tonight I said there's nothing impossible amen to them that believe glory to God but now I want to show you something. Amen. I begin to look at the churches in Revelation. Amen. In chapter 2, for example. Amen. In verse 2, he told Ephesus there. He said, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And amen. How that thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not and you found them liars. How you go on into Smyrna. He said, I know your works in verse 9. How your tribulation 
isolation, your poverty. Amen. I'm talking some serious powerhouse things. Amen. I'm telling you, you're going into Pergamos. Amen. Verses 12 through 17. Tyra, verse 18. Amen. Through 29. And then Sardis there in chapter 3. How you find all these powerful kind of things. How about when you get down to the Philadelphian church. Amen. He said in verse 8. I know thy works. But that was all he said about it. He didn't talk about their charity. He didn't talk about their faith. But he said you've got a little strength. All you've got is just a little bit. But you've kept my word. And you're not denying my name. I said we don't have to deny the miracle working power of God. Just because we're not a powerhouse. Because we don't have a big long list of accomplishments. If you've been to Calvary. How you qualify for a miracle. Amen. I said, listen tonight. At the church here at Philadelphia, they call it the perfect church. But it doesn't list a long list of the qualifications. But he said, I know my words. And you've only got a little string. But everywhere I go, Sister O'Quinn, people want to use that phrase as an excuse. How to give up and to back up on God. Well, preacher, I would go to church tonight, but I've only got a little strength. I would, amen, press in for my miracle, but I'm just not strong enough, Brother Leon. But amen, if he can tell the church at Philadelphia you've had a little strength and you've kept my word, we can make it tonight through our faith in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You don't have to be a Benny Hinn or an Oral Roberts. All you got to do is be born again and believe in what God can do. Amen. And God will do it for you tonight. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. I hear that all my life. Amen. Well, I tell you, well, they got your miracle. He's a preacher. Amen. And I'm just a lay member. Amen. Don't use that as an excuse. I'm not to accept your deliverance. Amen. I want you to know the God that I serve prepares a table. Amen. In the very presence of our enemies. Amen. In the midst of your life, I try when things are at their worse. That's when God is still at his best. Amen. The valley don't change God. I believe I'll shout anyhow. Amen. I Glory to God. I know the devil don't like that kind of preaching. But I come to tell you, you be well able. I like the spies that went into the land. My brother Tim said we can't do it. For we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. In other words, we were small. We were little. We were not able to do it. Happen. But how, amen, I remember how there were two men said we'd be well able. How Joshua and Caleb happen. I said let us go in at once happen. and possess the land. Happen. I mean I get so tired. Happen. I've seen the devil drag people down happen. because they think they can't touch God. Happen. But I want you to know he's a prayer answer in God tonight. Happen. And the Bible still said the effectual happen. The effectual, a fervent prayer of a righteous man. It availeth much. I've said hallelujah, church. Amen. You may only have a little strength, but that ought to make you want to shout tonight because God's grace is sufficient. And his strength is made perfect in weakness. Amen. I tell you, that blessed me. When I read about him. Amen. He had set before them an open door. And no man can shut it. He said, for thou hast a little strength. Oh, God. I don't know if I can make it or not. I've only got a little strength. He said, well, I've already opened the door for you. Amen. Because you've not denied my name. You've kept the faith. In other words. And I'm here to tell you tonight how the devil has lied to so many. How they've thrown up their hands and they gave up because they say, well, I'm not that one that shouts or runs up and down the aisle. But brother, let me tell you something tonight. Amen. God is looking at your heart. And the one question tonight he wants to know is, do you believe? We ought to be like the little man whose son was possessed by a devil and said, 
say, Lord, help thou our unbelief. <laughs> Amen. Lord, help us get to the place <laughs> how that we can get back looking for miracles <laughs> and believing God is going to do it. Amen. <laughs> I can remember a time in my life <laughs> whenever things went on in the old church, <laughs> they'd gather around and they'd pray all night long. <laughs> Amen. But now we are so busy. <laughs> We've got our lives. <laughs> Amen. We don't have time to look for a miracle. <laughs> we just accept it as something that's got to happen. <laughs> and now somebody said, now preacher, <laughs> I know the Bible said it's what's supported unto man to die. <laughs> and we all got to go sometime. <laughs> but my Bible also says we can add to our days. <laughs> or we can shorten them. Amen. But what we do. <laughs> and I'm ready to go to heaven, but I don't want to go before the Lord is ready. <laughs> I want to stand here and preach the word of God. Amen. I know like Paul, he said, I got a desire to depart, which is far better. Hallelujah. I know I got a better home, amen, awaiting on me. But he said, it's more needful for me to abide. In other words, to stay here in the flesh. Somebody's got to stand in the gap. Somebody's got to be a witness. Somebody's got to tell them, amen, about Jesus Christ and the hope and the power. Whoa. I've said the power of that still in the Word of God today. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what the Lord began to deal with me about. Amen. I'm telling you, many people, they just cry and they're ready to quit. Amen. You know, the devil comes. Oh, and they just want to fold up. Amen. They just want to be like who Elijah. And sit under the juniper tree and say, Lord, it's enough. I'm ready to die. I'm no better than my fathers. Come on now. I know this is hitting home. But pray for me just a minute. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah the same God that gave Elijah victory on the mount just a little bit before that. Happened, that allowed him to see the fire fall. That was the same God that was going to take care of him. Happened, and I want you to know the natural problem. Happened, amen. Don't change God. Happened, amen. God is the same. Happened, amen. Despite where you are in life, happened, whether you're on the mountain happened, or whether you're in the valley. Happened, and the Bible said Jesus Christ I'm the same yesterday, today. Happened, I hand forever happened. He said in Malachi happened. chapter 3 and about verse 6 happened. He said I change not happened. And I'm so glad for that happened. And that it's not just for the powerhouses happened. Them that's got the long list happened. Because you know when I come to the Lord happened. I didn't have anything much to offer him happened. I made mistakes in my life happened. But I had a heart happened. And a life and I said God happened. You do with me I'm yours happened. I do with me what you will. I, amen. I, I didn't have riches. I, I didn't have a good name to offer. I, I like some people do. I, I, but hallelujah to God. I, he looked and seen I had a little string. I, and that I'd keep the word. I, amen. So he set before me an open door. I, I said, church tonight, I, I, we can make it. I, I, because God has made a way I, I, where there seems to be no way. I, and he said, I oh, he said, I work where no man can hinder. Hallelujah to God. But you know what? They come through time. Amen. In our life, we've got to strengthen those little things. Amen. Strengthen those things that remain. Revelation 3 and 2. He said, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain and that are ready to die. For I've not found that works perfect before God. You've had a little strength and you've kept my word, but don't be satisfied. I would just a little bit. I strengthen those things that remain. Amen. Dig in. Amen. Get hungry for more of God. I told him here, amen, maybe the last time. I said I refuse to spend my life I trying to coast along on somebody else. Amen. I want God to use me. I want to feel him. I want feel him in my hands. I want to feel him in my feet. Glory to God. I don't want to hear somebody tell me about how God did for them. I want to know for myself. Amen. Because it's better felt than told. You can tell me about it. But amen, the have could never be told. But when you get into that power of God and you begin to feel the anointing of God get on you and run down your feet. Amen. Hallelujah to God tonight. I said it's better than anything. 
anything anybody can tell you. Amen. Oh, we need to be encouraged tonight to get back to the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Amen. Even though you've got just a little bit, strengthen that little bit, use that little bit. That little bit's enough if God's in it tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Bible said if you have faith has the size of what? Faith has the size of a grain of a mustard seed. And brother, that's small. Amen. I mean, that ain't even big as a dime. That ain't big as a quarter. And that definitely is not big as a nickel. But it's teeny. And it's tiny. But you know what? He said if you've got that much faith, you can move mountains. You can get the job done. And how I want you to know tonight, glory to God, how that if we'll let that faith begin to rise up in us, instead of standing in front of the mirror, I saying I'm not worthy, and I can't do it, amen, but let God arise and let God be the truth, and every man alive, I believe we'd see more miracles in the church, come on now, amen, God still wants to manifest his power in this last day church, because he said in the last days and there shall be showers and showers of blessing I'm talking about that former and latter rain together but oh how it's hard to find somebody that believes God will do it for them in their midst oh they'll say I believe it but you can't get them to believe it for themselves but I'm here in a tear tonight we need to strengthen that little bit that remains those things that remain. Amen. And let God stir our heart and get back to the place. Amen. That we see God move in the midst of our church. People are getting tired of going to church in a form and a fashion. Amen. Hearing a little singing, a little sermonette and going home. Amen. They're looking for the power of God. How because there are people who are in bondage. How there are people who are in trouble. And they need God to move in their life. And I'm telling you, amen, songs are good. And amen, I like good singing. I like singing, amen. I mean, there's some song make me want to run, hoop, and holler, and shout. How about there are times when you're in a bondage. How that a song just won't do it. Amen. But I'm here to tell you tonight the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. But we have got the mindset I like the little shooting out woman. There's a famine in the land. So we come to church to get our little bit of sticks so we can dress our meal and go home and eat it and die. But I'm glad somewhere along the way here come the man of God saying, well, yeah, you make for me first and how did they man the meal didn't run out in the bow and the oil didn't run out in the cruise there was more in that little bit than what you realize and you may think you've only got a little bit tonight but I'm telling you if God's in you there's more in your little bit than everything the world's got to offer <laughs> hallelujah the Bible said better is a little not the huge amount but better I said better is a little how that the righteous man have how he man than the riches of many wicked tonight. Glory to God. And oh, we're just waiting to die. Oh, how are you, sis? I'm just here. <laughs> Hallelujah. How are you, brother? I'm just here. <laughs> we come together a little bit tap of sticks so we can go back and we're just waiting to die. <laughs> waiting on Jesus come and get us. <laughs> but you know what? I believe God wants to stretch that little bit that you got and show you that he's able to provide. <laughs> that is Jehovah Jireh. <laughs> Amen. I can just imagine that woman looking down in that bar. <laughs> Amen. Wondering where all that meal is coming from. <laughs> And I've seen people come to church and they really didn't know anything about the Holy Ghost. And they said, man, I ain't ever going to act like that man. Oh, but oh, when the Spirit of God began to come down. Hey, man, I mean, I've seen them chop their hair down. I've seen them roll up under the pew. I've seen them run laps in the church. I see they had more in their little bit than what they realized. But see, the thing is, you got to take your little bit and give it to God. 
And when you give that little bit to God, amen, God is able, amen, to bless it, multiply it, and use it to meet the needs that are in your life. Hallelujah. I mean, it's that way even in the Pentecostal church. Amen. We get stirred up and we shout every now and then. Amen. But on your everyday ordinary service, we're just coasting along. We're here. We're fulfilling our Sunday night obligation. Woo. Don't shout me down. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're fulfilling our Sunday night obligation. <laughs> I, well, maybe we'll get the anointing Tuesday night. <laughs> I, I guess that's the way God wanted it. <laughs> Amen. Come on now. <laughs> but where's the altar? <laughs> Amen. Of praying saints. <laughs> Amen. Of saying, send the fire. <laughs> I send the fire. <laughs> I know we're so content. Amen. We're just waiting to see what God's going to do. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> and we're not accepting the deliverance. <laughs> and that's why a lot of folks they come in burden and they leave burden how they come in tortured and they leave tortured but I'm here to tell you tonight if we'll take that little bit begin to use it for the glory of God how that little bit can bring down every opposition every enemy how that the devil puts in your way I want you to know it wasn't no 10 pound sledgehammer how that David carried down to face the life. But a little smooth stone. And if that little bitty rock was enough, amen, to bring down a Goliath, then amen, the little faith that you got can move mountains out of your way. Come on now, I can't get no help in here tonight. I said, hallelujah. It don't take a whole lot. You just got to learn to believe and trust God. Amen, praise the Lord. But we're waiting, you know that. I have been us. Hey man, I ain't going down there unless I'm prepared. But you know what? David knew God was going with him. Because when old Goliath began to threaten him, and a man told him, I'm going to feed you to the fowls of the air. Amen. David said, you come against me with sword. Amen. You come against me with spear and shield. I want you to know I'm coming to you. I am the name of the Lord. Lord, hallelujah. It may not seem like much to you. At the life you've stood there and you've cursed the gods of Israel. But you've got to find out who's God. Amen. I'm glad it didn't take much. Amen. Glory. I said glory. Glory. He's a miracle working God tonight. The life found out. Amen. Amen. He lost his head. Amen. But it come from just a little rock. Just a little rock. Amen. Just a little bit. Amen. We want to change the world, but we think we've got to have a sanctuary to hold 10,000. Amen. When 120, amen, turn the world upside down. <laughs> oh, go away. Hallelujah to God. How, how you want to bring it down, it went back down to, how, amen, you might say 11 before the appointment of Christ, how, amen, or 12, whichever way you want to call it, either way is correct. How, how, but I'm telling you, amen, they turn the world upside down. How, how, because they were determined how, how to use what they had. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. All right. But we're so negative. I went somewhere and preached the other day, and amen, I, I, the pastor didn't mean it, and I'm not trying to be funny by saying this, but I'm going to tell you. I preached, and I sat down, and he said, Woo! Glory to God. He said, That's good. Amen. And it pays us to be ready. He said, Because of all this pestilence and stuff that's going on. Amen. He said, You never know when something's going to get in your body. And I know that's the truth. But we better watch what we say. Amen. How people come to church to get picked up and know that they can and face it, not to have to look over their shoulder and worry about something else. And he got to talking about this bird flu. Amen. That's in the world. And he said it's about every foreign country. And he said right back there sits a man just got back from Africa. And he may even have it and don't know it. And I'm sitting back there. No, no. I don't you put that on me. Amen. And when it come time to dismiss, nobody wanted to hold my hand and pray with me. Amen. But I'm here to tell you tonight, we better quit being so negative and start getting some old time uh, Holy Ghost faith back in our churches uh, uh, to 
tell people, I, like Paul, I can do all things, and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. How it went away. Amen. Amen. About to shout tonight, glory to God. Amen. How about we went... Oh, hallelujah. I tell them we got that old sad hee-haw religion. How, how we want to get up and talk about how, how how we got our battle scars and how we're hurting. How, and I'm, I'm not making fun of nobody tonight. How, how, but amen. How, how, yeah, get your request out there. Tell them what's wrong. How, and then say, but I know God's going to bring me out. Hallelujah. How, amen. God's going to bring me out of this desert. How, God's going to bring me out of this situation. Expect a miracle. How, and find out what God... God is going to do in your life. Strengthen those little things. I ain't even got there yet, but I'm trying to go. Hallelujah. Strengthen those little things. Uh, well, amen, the first scripture the Lord gave me was in Judges. Uh, and you've heard me talk about chapter 15 whenever uh, uh, Samson is fought with the jawbone. Uh, and amen, how he slew so many Philistines. I uh, uh, slew a thousand men therewith. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, and the Bible says uh, uh, that he was sore of thirst in verse 18. Uh, uh, amen. And he called on the Lord and said, Thou hast given this great deliverance uh, uh, into the hand of thy servant. And now now I shall I die for thirst and fall into the hand of the uncircumcised? I mean, did he really realize what he was saying? This was the same God that could have let him be slain by the Philistines but moved on him and he was able to take a jawbone and kill a thousand men. Amen. And then he starts saying, but oh God, now I'm thirsty. I'm going to die first. And if God is big enough, what I'm saying, if God is big enough, up to save us. Uh, don't you think he can take care of a doctor bill? Uh, I'm now and then. Come on now. Uh, amen. A power bill, a car payment. Uh, amen. But yet God does the, amen, the miracle. Uh, the incredible thing. Uh, and then like Samson, we want to cry, but Lord, now I'm dying at first.